So P2B said he wants to replace Night VG with Night Shift. All our religious people in Nigeria went gaga. Everybody wanted. Okay. You see, I'm sure you must have heard it, Chad, but still listen to it. We live largely in a very unproductive society. That's why the only thing that is attractive here is politics and church. Mm. You need to dismantle it. And we're going to turn night vigil into night shift so people can be productive. I go to church, I believe in God. Yes. But we cannot have people Monday to Friday be in church morning and night. No. If I go from Yana to my house, the only signboard you see is signboard of churches. You go to the east, it's burials. That's not the country. Now, here is the bigger question everybody need to answer. What are you actually going to that night vigil to pray for? There are people who pray and fast and study scripture, rightly so, but they never study the materials that lead to their excelling in their field of endeavor. The Bible gives you a holistic viewpoint of life, but as far as becoming excellent and gaining mastery is concerned, you have to be able to lay hold the area where God has called you into. If you're a career person, you must be excellent. You're a medical person, be excellent. Member of this church, if you're a businessman, immediately after this service, go and open your shop. If you're in abroad, after this service, you go to your work and clock in. People work on Sunday. God never sent them to hell because of working on Sunday. What of doctors and nurses? Somebody now, you pray overnight. Then you get to a place of work, start dosing. You have a place of work. You now go Fiji. You are now dosing. They're supposed to sack you. And now, 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 let me break down the normal prayer point of average Nigerians. Father, kill my enemy. My enemy, kick my enemy. Enemy, my enemy. Now, let me tell you how the government can answer that your enemy question. If our judiciary system is working, whoever offend you and you go to court, you will get justice. So that means God has actually provided that solution of that your enemy. It's just that the country or the judiciary system is not working, meaning that is a man that's supposed to fix it solved. Another prayer point is. Oh, my health. Oh, my health. Give me some health. Give me some health. And your pastor will tell you, hold that table and pray. This headache, go, go, go. And you are praying overnight because of your health. Meaning that if our health sector is working well in Nigeria, you have NHIS, you have health insurance, meaning that you can walk to any hospital and they will, you know, you don't need to delay and everything. They will check you. If there's an emergency, you call ambulance. Ambulance comes immediately, pick you up and to any emergency meaning that that one god has actually provided a solution and if it's working well in your country you don't need to pray and much about it meaning that the government can actually provide it to me another prayer point is father i need work i need work 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 another way the government can actually fix that is that if the government creates job and you are busy working imagine you're going to work from morning and you come back in the evening that you're supposed to rest Will you go to VG? 99% of things you go to that VG to pray is the things that the government can fix. Meaning that if the economy, the country is working well, you actually don't need that VG. Maybe what you need is every Sunday you go to church and thank God. Father, thank you for the miracle. Thank God for the miracle of what you've done for us. Thank you for protection. Thank you for provision. And thank you for this. You just pray and go. Let me tell you what Nigerians religious do. It's just like a mother who leaves the house and cook food, you know, and keep for the children and say, in the morning, you push you eat this one. By afternoon, you push you eat this one. Then by evening, you push you eat this one and sleep. And when you reach morning for the children to eat, that food that the parent, the mother has provided for them to eat, instead of them to eat it, they will not come Mommy, Mommy oh, we are hungry. We are hungry. What do we eat? What do we eat? What have this the food is just for you people to go and pick it and microwave and eat? This is what is happening to Nigeria. Most of the things we are praying for, if you actually use your wisdom, can be salt. I know most of you will call me Antichrist. You are welcome. Nah. And uh -huh, that's what you want. <laughs> but the truth is that Pitobi was right. And that is the reason why most of you. If you leave Nigeria and relocate to other country, UK, Canada, you will stop going to church because most of the things you are praying for here, the country you are traveling to, they've answered it. So when you reach here, there's nothing actually to pray for. You're not praying for good road. The road is already good. You're not praying for good health because the health system will work. You're not praying for education because the education system is working. You're not praying for food because food is cheap. So you look around when you travel to UK, there's nothing to pray for again. You people stop going to church because you are used to praying for those needs in Nigeria. So when you reach there, you don't even pray. The, all of you will relocate. How many times on a don't go night regime? So when you want to crucify Obi for what he said, he is 101% right. If you think he's wrong, you are welcome. But don't forget to enjoy your weekend. Thank you.